Right. Now, there is a way, a very, very fast way, where you can come to understand the truths of God. And I'm not talking about your truth here. I'm not talking about what you believe to be true, because you're going to have to give up a lot of your beliefs if you want to actually accept God's truth. You see, on the earth today, what the problem is, is that man defines God. And if you have an intellectual attempt to divine God, you are always going to miss the mark. Are uh, you not? Because how can you define something that you've never connected with? Right? What we want to do in our future, and this is what I'm going to propose to you, is that you let God define God to you. In other words, we're going to suggest to connect to God in some manner, and that connection, and we'll talk about how to connect with God, that connection will, from that point on, define truth, and define the truth about God to you. You will discover the truths of the universe the most fastest, the fastest possible way doing using this method. When you think about it, if we don't use this method, the only other methods we've got available to us to, us to investigate truth is to actually experiment like a scientist. Right? So what we would have to do is we would have to go along and investigate one truth. Oh no, after 50 years of investigation, no, that doesn't work out. There's a few errors with that, so I modify that a bit and tweak it a bit. And that, that's my truth for a while. And isn't that the way science discovers the universe? With this constant modification, experimentation, modification, experimentation, and so forth. And I'm suggesting to you that that doesn't need to occur. There is actually a way for you to connect with God and discover truth far more rapidly. So are you saying that if we let go of our definitions of God and, of, and uh, we're actually living by definitions, definitions of ourselves, and yep. def that's how we make sense of our world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we, the problem with us today is we're trying to make sense of our world intellectually. Yeah. And what I'm suggesting is that it's impossible to connect to God and connect to your own soul, which is emotions, unless you start making definitions or allowing things to come to you emotionally. Or let go of your attachment to your definitions. Yes, that, that is necessary. Yep. 